So I've been recently building this vacuum tube Tesla coil, which is pretty cool, but I've been having some troubles with it. So this is the schematic that goes with my vacuum tube Tesla coil. And so I found an iMac 3X 2500 F3 vacuum tube, which is a transmitter tube at, a, at the electronics warehouse. And I'm trying to make this vacuum tube run with a vacuum tube Tesla coil, but I've never actually seen this vacuum tube in any schematics. So I kind of took the schematic off the internet and I modified a few uh, part values, so that way it might work with the iMac 3X 2500 F3, but I haven't seen very good results. So I have uh, uh, one microfarad 2000 volt microwave capacitor and a diode in the voltage doubler circuit with a uh, 2 nanofarad at like 12 kilovolts capacitor uh, for the bypass RF. I also have a 2 nanofarad 40 kilovolt tank capacitor, 27 turns of 12 gauge wire on the primary coil, a 33 ohm 10 watt resistor and a 14 turn choke for the plate uh, choke and uh, I've got the filament transformer all works fine. For the feedback I have 20 turns of 26 gauge wire, a 4k adjustable 160 watt resistor and um, 3 nanofarads 10 kilovolts um, grid leak capacitor. So let's take a look at this and I'll explain a little bit of why it's not working or what the thing is that's not working. So we've got um, all the parts down here. This is the filament transformer. This is the vacuum tube. Now what happens is when I run this thing, it starts to run and it kind of runs a little bit, but I only get a discharge or a corona off the top of maybe about I don't know, maybe a half an inch of arcs off the top. So it's not much more powerful than my Slayer Exciter. Even when I put a top load on it, which I have somewhere around here, it still doesn't get a very good discharge off the top. So yeah, that's my issue with this Tesla coil right now. Now luckily I have almost 10,000 subscribers and hopefully one of you has some advice on how to help me make this thing work because I really want to get this vacuum tube Tesla coil to work really good. So please write in the comments why you think this vacuum tube Tesla coil isn't working. I'll put a link to the data sheet for this tube inside the description. So yeah, there you go. These are my capacitor banks. I made them using these little ceramic disc capacitors of 5,000 volts, uh, 500, 500 picofarads. Got a smaller capacitor bank right here, but yeah. Please help me here. Thanks, guys.